are you doing hi achal i good how are you i am i'm doing very well so thank you for taking out time basically this conversation is about helping the future aspirants to have a lot of information from your experience and the schools that you applied to and eventually get admitted in okay so yeah. i will start by asking uh, so you can first can you elaborate on your results ayush sure so i got admitted from ucla anderson uh, ntu hmm. and ncr hmm. at a wait list at a couple of schools hmm. um i think i i applied to seven or eight odd schools and i got through like five of them so okay and with school are you eventually attending so i am going to attend in cr uh, oh, in cr is my dream school for quite some time okay okay so um also elaborate a little on your background for the viewers to understand better uh, i am an engineer from delhi college of engineering right and uh, given given that i am i am an engineer um i mean it's it's a relatively common profile but um I I had a very diverse work experience. That's why I I worked at a bank, M N C bank, in the risk strategy division. Um, I in my most recent role, I was working at one of India's biggest startups, uh, working in the risk analytics team there. Uh, I had a GMAT of seven forty, and I'm I'm twenty six. So that's a little bit about my profile. Fair enough. So. What do you think? What are those few things that you feel you did right to get some amazing results? Okay. So I feel firstly that uh, I had done a lot of research when mm. I was in my application phase, mm. and I knew very clearly what are the things I really want, mm. what are the things that I, you know, what are the schools that I really look at. That really enabled me to prioritize, uh, you know, the time that I give to different aspects of the application. to different schools hmm. um it, it just really helped me structure my entire efforts really well um also throughout this entire phase i had a lot of perseverance and i had a lot of discipline i kept talking to a lot of people here and there even even while i was actually deciding on the kind of schools the the, the schools that i actually want to apply to um i had done a lot of research there spoken to like multiple alumni from here and there and i just kept trying to motivate myself throughout that entire process to you know keep going throughout that entire process okay so sometimes students have this uh, challenge of uh, working also in a full time job and managing the hectic application process and gmat preparation so what are the few pointers that you have for them uh, that can help them achieve those so i think it's it's mo- mo- most of the times you are actually doing a full time work uh in in you know uh with your nba applications and it's just so essential to manage your time really well mm-hmm. uh you you have to be on top of your game for the entire 10 12 months whatever you're looking at in your mm-hmm. entire application phase uh there has to be good research the work that you actually do mm-hmm. that has to be really effective it's not just about putting in four or five hours every day it's it's really so much about productive work and as much about planning your entire journey so i mean some of the tips that i would actually say uh, you know like to share with some of the applicants would be that you know it's it's best to get gman out, out of the way as early as possible hmm. there needs to be adequate time between gman hmm. and you know your application process when you're looking at or uh, writing essays preparing your applications preparing for interviews hmm. a lot of time people actually uh, you know focus much more on the quantitative aspect say hmm. three months probably like the first time um and uh, you know not enough time on the qualitative aspect or uh, it's it's a lot of hard work preparing your applications for uh, all of these schools you you should probably speak to a couple of people from any school that you actually apply to uh You you need to know so much about these schools that you're applying to. Um, also, I feel that um, you know it it should also be when you're when you're working on your applications or your essays, uh, there needs to be a lot of focus on what is your USP. It's not about uh, you know figuring out what are the things that I should write and what are the things that I should not write. Mm-hmm. It's as much a self introspection journey where you actually figure out. Uh, what is, what is it that i bring to the mba school what is my usp and i think that is one 
uh, aspect of your application that every candidate should spend a lot of time with you know, self introspection fair enough fair enough there are some very good points ayush so uh, how was your interview experience with ncert if you can elaborate on that okay my interview experience with ncert was amazing i had two sets of uh, alumni interviews um they generally tend to uh, pay you with one alum uh, who's actually uh, from a similar background as yours uh and generally one tends to be somebody who's got 20 odd years of work experience after an mba and a uh, pretty senior guy so uh i mean the day of the interview really arrived when i had scheduled interviews with uh, both of these uh, alumni and uh, when the first one was about to start it was uh, at starbucks at a coffee shop and um, i was pretty nervous to be honest initially i was pretty nervous but uh, i mean my first interview at starbucks it was more conversational mm-hmm. uh, the interview or the interviewer actually made it a point to make me really comfortable before the interview he offered me coffee uh he he told me you know we're just going to chat and it's just going to be a chat let's uh you know discuss a little bit about your work about what you want to do in future and um, we ended up talking for almost 2 hours uh where we kept talking about uh, analytics in uh, today's time the future of analytics um what do i hope to gain from an mba what do i hope to actually do after an mba and what i really feel was that he essentially he was just trying to see if uh my entire application and uh, what i was saying in the interview was concurrent the story ought to be continuous and i felt that in the first interview that is essentially what he was checking throughout that entire time uh, for the second interview even though i mean the first one went really well and uh, uh you know it it It, it was a great it was a big confidence boost for me right. but uh, the second one it was with a very senior ncert alum and i was actually more nervous there because you know i was going to uh, the office of an mnc company sitting in the boat room uh, you know waiting for my interview to actually come and uh, eventually what i found was in that interview was very conversational okay. uh, it was him checking my knowledge about uh, my current role mm-hmm. about the companies that i that i would actually look at after an mba um i mean how i was actually looking at financing my mba he wanted to see if i've actually planned my entire journey really well and um, he gave me a lot of tips as well uh, when it it was when it was about my post mba uh experience that we are actually talking about he gave me a lot of tips and a lot of pointers there um also he i i i would say that he focused a lot on one respective one specific question that was why why do you want to win mba and that took almost like a 15 20 minute discussion where um i i was trying to talk to him about why essentially i need an mba and i think that was probably the most important question there once right. once i was convinced that you know i mm-hmm. have a need for an mba right. uh, right. it ended up being very conversational okay okay, okay. thank you so um, so what would you like to say about your experience or learning in managing applications timelines okay so uh, i think it was a great learning experience mm-hmm. uh, we tend to get really bogged down when we are thinking of applying and seeing like a pile of work but essentially it's it's, it's a great learning experience because you know i i got a chance to work on my communication skills i got a chance to work on my writing skills i got a chance to actually do a lot of self introspection which generally we do not tend to do and uh, i think uh, the the very aspect the, the very plan where i kept talking to all of these admissions uh, officers the interview was over mail and everything i think essentially even that was a great learning experience for me um also one big thing that you actually learn in this entire application process uh, like you mentioned previously most of us are actually working when we are applying right. for all of these mba schools so we end up uh you know learning a lot of time management and i think that's just so essential pre mba where you just get to learn how you want to prioritize how you have to plan your entire time 
essentially you end up having only 24 hours in a day and uh, it's it's really overwhelming going through that entire journey so it it has to be very well managed when you think about your time and i think that's that's something that i've really been able to work on in my entire application process great great so um so how would you describe your experience with working with experts global my experience with experts global was amazing um i think the first point here would be that you know they they really helped me uh, structure and uh, you know Go go at it with with my entire application process. It's been very structured. There were timelines, there were reminders everywhere. It essentially helped me really prioritize my work, and you know, I think it was very effective and smart work. It's it's not about putting in five hours every day. It's about working really smartly. And uh, the way Experts Global really helped me structure my entire application process. That that is probably the best thing about Experts Global. uh the second thing is that you know my applications mentor kept uh providing me a lot of guidance she was always available to take calls um she she's really helped me motivate me throughout that entire process i mean it's essentially very overwhelming when you go through that entire process and um, the team at experts global really helped me motivate and you know keep keep working hard towards my applications Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time, Ayush.